Here's meteorologist TJ Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, very warm and humid throughout the daytime today. We are going to be seeing some changes, but probably not for at least a couple of days in terms of the humidity. Let's take a look at what's going on outside right now. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. We're scanning southern Rhode Island, and uh, we're not finding any precipitation out there. Temperatures are at 85 in Providence, 84 in Smithfield, Taunton at 85, New Bedford 83, 79 in Newport, muggy down there in Westerly at 81 degrees. Live city cam picture showing not a cloud in the sky. It's all nice and dry temperature at 85 with a dew point at 68. Dew points actually dropped a little bit. Uh, it was around 74 degrees earlier in the afternoon. Now I'm down to 68, but it's still ultra muggy out there. Winds are from the south at around 12 miles an hour and that relative humidity of 57%. Up in Cumberland, Emerald Bay Retirement Living, 84 degrees. The high temperature for the day was up around 90, which was anticipated. We have a wind from the southeast at light speeds about 3 miles an hour. Some real soaking rain, heavy thunderstorms up there in North northern Massachusetts into southern New Hampshire, but they're moving away from us. I think we're going to be high and dry throughout the rest of the uh, evening hours. We have a front draped across central New England, and it's going to be moving away from us, heading on up into northern New England throughout the nighttime tonight. We'll be dry. There likely will be some more uh, fog developing through the night tonight. It'll be burning off tomorrow. Sunday, we'll have uh, some showers and thunderstorms, most of which shall, should remain off to our north, but tomorrow night, a cold front will approach, and we'll see some some showers and thunderstorms late tomorrow night and into Monday morning and then we'll begin to see some drier air working its way into our region for Monday afternoon and into uh, at least a, a couple of days next week. This evening we'll see temperatures falling down through the 70s, about 75 degrees by midnight. Sunset time now at 7.59 p.m. So we're within that 8 o'clock hour. For your Sunday morning there'll be some clouds and fog around. Temperatures will be uh, climbing back up to around 80 degrees by noontime with some partial sunshine. Much like today, clouds and fog first thing, and then eventually we'll get some uh, partial sunshine. 86 degrees in Central Falls for tomorrow afternoon. Mid-80s downtown. 86 degrees in Rumford. Winds will be picking up during the afternoon from the south, 10 to 20 miles an hour. Cranston and Warwick in the mid-80s. Riverside and Barrington about 84, 85. Along the south coast, going to be a little bit cooler down here. 82 in Jamestown. Charlestown 82. Westerly 82 with the winds from the south-southwest, 10 to 20 miles an hour, keeping those coastal communities a little bit cooler than inland locations. 85 Chapachet, 86 Woonsocket, Lincoln, Cumberland, Greenville, around 86 degrees with partly sunny skies and uh, mostly dry day. There's a very slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm tomorrow afternoon in Northern Rhode Island. Over in southeastern Mass, Attleboro, Swansea, Westport, out into New Bedford, looking at temperatures between 80 and 85 degrees or so. At the beaches, again, morning fog giving way to some partial sunshine. I think it'll be dry. Air temperature around 82. Water temperature should be about 76. Out in the bay, Visibility poor in any morning fog. Winds from the south southwest 10 up to 20 knots or so during the afternoon. Waves will be building a little bit up to two feet during the p.m. hours. High tide about 10 minutes to 11 in the morning. Here's that live pinpoint Doppler 12 seven day future cast, and we are looking at those showers and thunderstorms tomorrow night into the morning hours of your Monday. Monday morning commute could be a, a slow going one because of those storms in the area. Monday afternoon drying out. Tuesday and Wednesday look fabulous. Showers and thunderstorms are possible again Thursday, Friday into next Saturday. Uh, Friday could be an all-day rain. We'll have to monitor that situation uh, kind of close. But we are looking at uh, some nice weather this evening. Looks to be fine. If you're heading out to Family Fun Night all at right. Roger Williams Park Zoo, open until 9 o'clock tonight. Looks to be just fine. All right. Thanks, TJ. Coming up on Eyewitness News at 6 after going...